Kathy Akers. What a quick intro. <laughs> well, good morning and welcome to the morning show. We have our, uh, our, our bi weekly guest here, uh, Kathy Akers with Fathom Realty. Good morning, Good Glenn. morning. <laughs> Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays. And uh, so, uh, Kathy is our real estate expert. Um, she is here to you know make sure that if you're looking to buy or sell a house that you, you call her first but let's just be <laughs> honest that's what we're here for but at the same time she's not just trying to, to to just be somebody who turns numbers she's also been a great resource for us here at WHIG to share information on on decorating your house on keeping saving money with your energy efficiency you know finding repairs at an affordable price and in this time we're gonna be talking about holiday safety that's right. We're going to talk about what to do while you're away. Okay. Um, we do a lot of traveling um, between November and December, and it, and this is even things to think about for your summer vacations. But um, we usually think more during this holiday mm -hmm. season, and especially for those that are have their houses on the market. These are some things to think about. But for um, for anyone, mm -hmm. um, because I know you and I travel for the holidays to see family that or um, oh, yeah. that kind of thing so what so kind of go as far as West Virginia but that's, that's okay. right <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about security precautions um, when you leave your house unattended mm -hmm. okay um, let's talk about um, we always lock our doors and our windows mm -hmm. or at least I hope we, we did um, or, or in some of probably put <laughs> screws in our windows. <laughs> That's right. But, um, you know, there's a lot of security systems out nowadays mm -hmm. that are fairly inexpensive, some that you can do yourself. Yeah, some do it yourself. So um, there's the, the, the Simply <coughs> Safe and, and the Ring video videos. Videos, and that's Net, right. The, the tech companies have now gotten into it. Um, Netgear has an Arlo system that has all kinds of stuff. Right. The, the problem is there's almost so many choices, you're not sure which is the right one. Right. So do some research, see what's best for you. Mm -hmm. But um, that might, that's an other, another added layer of security mm -hmm. for you. Um, especially if you have, like the Ring video, right. that you can have a video of your front porch. Front mm -hmm. You know, front door, front porch, seeing who's coming in and who's coming out. Um, how about let's putting lights on a timer? Mm -hmm. We don't think about that. Um, you know, just having a dark house mm -hmm. is a, a automatic clue that oh, nobody's yeah. home. Um, well, and there's some timers out there, and you can get these at Lowe's, and, and I'm not sure if Walmart has them, but I know you can find them, is they have the multi-timers. Mm -hmm. And so I've seen those, and my, and my parents have used them, where you know they have the timer come on at you know, 530, goes off at 730, comes back on at, at 830, so it looks like the lights are going on and off. That's right. So it right. looks like there's something, it's not just clicked on, clicked off. Right, and there are some timers and um, smart bulbs now mm -hmm. that you can control yep. with your phone. I've got a couple smart bulbs and I absolutely love them because I can control my home device. Right. And also when I'm away, I can see them on my phone and I can turn them on and off. Right, um, and the other thing is, you know, um, trimming back those hedges mm -hmm. uh, so that if somebody's driving by if there's somebody right. between the win you know trying to get into a window if they're driving by they can see somebody mm -hmm. you know behind your hedges you know right. if they're now, they're halfway up your windows and i do want to caution don't cut yeah. them down too low during yeah. the winter you, that's if, right if you, you want to cut them cut short, short during the spring but during the winter, if you want to take a good six inches off the top, right, creates that that gap, and also, um, you know, the between. gap in the top of the window sash. That way, if anybody sees you, now the gap between the bush and the wall, leave that there. <laughs> leave that as bushy as possible. <laughs> yeah, your, your your spouse name might not like that. That's but right. That creates yeah. an impediment to somebody trying to get to your windows. That's right. So, and if you have hollies with sticklers, oh, go ahead and let those stay. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about? Um, I know we don't have the winter elements as mm -hmm. some states do, but let's talk Maybe about the West right now. That's right. But let's talk about the elements that we do get. Mm -hmm. um, rain, so rain, 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 and leaves. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of leaves, pine straw, pine straw, that kind of stuff that's coming down right now. You want to make sure that you keep your sidewalks, driveways, mm -hmm. that type of thing clear because it can be a safety hazard for somebody coming onto your property. Absolutely. Um, you know, I know that you might be away, but but having it laying there too is another indication that you may not be around. You know, yeah. um, you know, ours is kind of coming down fast mm -hmm. and furious 
recently, so we can't keep up with oh, what's coming oh, down. My father got a <laughs> gas-powered backpack blower, and he, he's like a little kid. Unfortunately, he has to go out there every 12 hours and do it all over again. <laughs> That's right. My husband mulches ours, yeah. and so he was out on the lawnmower yesterday afternoon. So um, thinking about that, but um, here's another one is um, holding your mail. Now, I want to, I saw that on your list, and I want to mention that because the mail service, and this is free, there's mm -hmm. two things I recommend everybody do. One mm -hmm. is sign up for the Postal Service mail. You get a preview of your mail before it gets to your house. Oh, okay. So they will actually send you images in your email of what the front image of each piece of mail is. That way, if you're okay. expecting something, you don't get it. If right. somebody's like uh, haunting your, mailboxes, you right. can be aware of that. But <laughs> the other right. thing is, is if you want to have a pause and delivery, you can do all that online. You don't have to call. Right. You don't have to go to the post office. But you do have to do it three days in advance. That is the, the main hiccup. If, you, if you're going out of town on Friday mm -hmm. and it's Thursday, it's too short. It's short, yeah. They need three <laughs> days notice to hold your mail. Right. Um, I have to say that I have done it on a Friday going out of town mm -hmm. on a Saturday, and it has held. Okay. So um, occasionally you can get that service, right. but um, the sooner the better that you can sign up for that. But and if you know you're going out of town, that should be easy to plan. If it's a, that's it's a right. spur of the moment kind of thing. Eh. That's right. And if you're only going to be gone for three days, don't even... Well, Unfortunately, even ask a neighbor. Yeah, so say ask a neighbor. Ask the newspaper a neighbor to pick it is up. the same thing. Right. Ask the carrier, say, hey, I'm not going to be home for a couple of days. Can you? I still want my papers because there might be coupons That's in right. there. But, you know, can you just hold them for three days and then dump them on Monday or Tuesday? Right. The other piece is thinking about your packages that are coming. Mm -hmm. um, is there something that's been delayed in delivery or has an estimated delivery date while you're gone? Right. Um, think about having an alternate source of delivery. Mm -hmm. You know, there there are post office box yep. options. There's the UPS store. UPS, there's the, you can that's take, right. There's um, the mailboxes place at Westridge. You know, there's there's al there's alternate, alternate locations. Yeah. Um, even your office, if you have an office that's amiable to mm -hmm. you having your packages delivered. Not all delivered employers are comfortable with that, but some are. Some, some are, aren't. some aren't. Yeah. But um, you know, that's an option to think about. So you know, look at that kind of thing. Or worst case scenario, send it to a neighbor or a nearby relative. Who can, who that's would be right. Who would hold it on to? That's right. As long as it's not for them. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so that, and then the other piece I want to mention is something that we don't think about and is a clear indication that you're gone is put your social media on pause. You know, mm -hmm. you're out there, hey, look at me in the mountains. Right, right, Hey, right, right. look at me at the beach. Yeah. You know. As a matter of fact, I know where all my friends were this weekend, so I know that's they weren't right. home. <laughs> that's right. So, you know, you think about those. Yeah, it's great to post your pictures from mm -hmm. the football game and, and different things like that or how everybody well, at do Aunt it, Sue's or that kind of thing. Well, if you're going to do it, and this is one of those things where you got to think about it. So either, mm -hmm. either don't do it, which is the easiest thing. Right. Or if you're going to do it, limit the audience of who you're posting. To. That's right. Make sure you have it like friends only, not friends of friends and things like that. So you're limiting who sees yeah. it, usually to a circle of people you would trust. That's right. Versus if you make it public, then anybody can see Everybody it. Everybody sees it. Mm -hmm. And those are the type. That or just, you know, hey, once you get home, post all those pictures and say, hey, here's a great reminder of mm -hmm. what we've done. Right. You know. It doesn't um, have to be that moment. No, it doesn't have to be in the moment. Oh, it's hard sometimes. <laughs> not when you get old. <laughs> that's you, right. And especially for young folks, there is no turning off the social media. That's true. That's true. So the adults might have turned it off, but the kids are sitting going, ch -ch 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 about everything. <laughs> Look, I'm eating a drumstick. I know. <laughs> But, you know, think about, you know, who's going to see those posts, um, who might be out there stalking, because there are people that, that look for those oh, things. Yeah. And um, just be careful, you know, with what you're posting and, you know, how long you're gone well, or and in that kind of thing. This is especially true for our, our elderly and people who may live alone. Right. Um, people who are especially susceptible to being targeted. Mm -hmm. And in today's society, unfortunately, that, that is a real thing. And it's it a is. thing here in North Carolina, it's a thing here in Rocky Mount. Uh, senior citizens have always been a target for financial fraud and, and, and phone fraud and so much other stuff. But you also have medicines. You also have a lot of things in your household that if you leave to go visit family for the weekend, That's right. you are an immediate opportunity for somebody to go in there and try to get your stuff. Don't tell anybody unless, except somebody you trust very much, mm -hmm. you know, that you're leaving out of town. And, and most older folks aren't prone to, to posting online, but some do, do. very yes. much so. Yes. But be careful with how much you communicate you're going to visit your family. Because let's be, let's be honest, it's one thing to brag. I'm going to visit my <laughs> successful son in, in Ohio, <laughs> and I'm right. going to spend the week up there with his family, and I'm so <laughs> excited. Well, if you tell everybody in the, in the, in the barbershop, 
or a yeah. beauty shop or whoever, mm -hmm. wherever you are, that's just ears hearing all that kind of stuff that can say, you know what, you, you're, you got medicine? That's you're, right. You're taking all this stuff? Hmm. Which brings up another point in that holding the mail, but you know, a lot, a lot of the elderly are sometimes on those automatic renewals. That's right. So if you've got prescription drugs coming in the mail, mm -hmm. you know, that's another one of those things that you want to definitely make sure is secure. Don't do it that way. Go to almonds and get it there. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> they'll but, put them know. in little booster packs for you and do all that stuff for you. It's free and just, you know, have almonds, hold it, or they'll deliver it for you. But if you need a refill, say, hey, I'm out of town for a week. Can you wait? A week. Right. They'll and, do that. But some are on, you know, prescription oh, yeah. services and other medical device services that come through the mail. Absolutely. And so that's another one of those indicators. Plus it's somebody that may know that you mm, have that or are out of town and that those that are coming to your home. So that could be, mm -hmm. you know, one of those targets that they're looking for. So And then there's always gonna be folks who just go around knocking on doors and knocking on right. windows and stuff. And, and again, that's where again having the security system may be very useful, having the ring uh, type and the ring is not the only one, it's just no, it's that, one of the most popular. That's the one you're hearing about um, a lot. The, the ring video doorbell, there's um, Nest has one. So if mm -hmm. you you know it depends on, on which ecosystem you're in. Smart things, which is the Samsung. If you already have some of those things, then add on to the existing system. Don't by a separate system necessarily. That's right. Whatever is most comfortable for you. If you don't have anything at all, almost all of them work with Amazon's Alexa mm -hmm. or with the Google Home. So if mm -hmm. you are one of those that likes to talk to your devices or you know when you want to use it from your phone, phone or whatever. That's right. There's there's a lot of ways to do them. They're not inexpensive, but they're not expensive. You know, with, per camera they're about $100 a pop, which you know, most people say that's still kind of expensive, but Compared to what they used to be, they're very much more affordable than they used to be. That's right. And, um, you know, just use, you know, common sense. Mm -hmm. You know, think about who you're talking to and what you're doing to get ready to go out of town. I know it's a busy time, yep. but, you know, just taking a few precautions mm -hmm. is going to help you in the long run. Well, one thing I will mention, and this is where you have to be very careful, and there's some there's some argument on this. If you're going out of town, and you know you are, knock back your, your thermometer two degrees, mm -hmm. not 10 degrees. That's right. Just, just two degrees, because you're not there, so your body is not heating the house up either. Right. Um, but also unplug your dryer and maybe your, your uh, electric toaster and that kind of stuff. You don't have to do those things, but in the sake of safety, if you're not going to be there for days, mm -hmm. you never know what electrical storms and surges could occur. So go ahead and just unplug those things for the safety. The other piece is if you're not willing to turn off the water mm -hmm. in the house the, at your um, main shutoff, right. is turn off the water to your washing machine. Mm -hmm. Um, remember, though, anything that has a water line right. on the outside, disconnect your hoses. Yeah, the hoses, all that kind of All stuff. of that Absolutely. kind of thing. Um, you know, those Especially are places. Especially going to get cold. Yes. <laughs> and those are the places where it's more likely to freeze. Yep. So, um, you know, just little things like that will help you in the long run. So. Uh, lots and lots of good ideas there, Kathy. We appreciate that. Um, you know, this is the time of year when people do travel. They go to Christmas parties, all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, and houses may be alone. Um, one, one last thing I do, and this, this is completely optional. Not everybody needs to do what I do necessarily, but I also turn off the Internet when I'm gone um, for a couple of reasons. One, it lets your router reset. Right. You know, it's, it's a good idea, and I mean power off, not just <clears throat> turn off. I mean actually unplug it from the power strip or turn the strip off. Um, the reason for that is that it's recommended that at least every 30 days you power down and recycle the power of your router. If you have a cable modem, same thing. Just So if you're going to travel, that's the perfect time to turn those things off. When you come back, turn them back on. Unless you are a DVR junkie and you need to have all your shows recorded <laughs> while you're right. gone, then don't do that because they won't record. <laughs> But that depends on if you're a DVR junkie or not. That's right. Um, you know, I did record quite a few things over the this mm. past week, but that was so that I could spend time with the family and, there you go. and not be in front of a TV. So. That's why I said it's optional. It just depends on what your, your lifestyle yes. is. That's right. And, and one last thing I'll mention, this is not safety but uh, before we step out, but one of the things you can do um, that I, I think a lot of people already do, but um, you can share your um, Netflix or YouTube TV or Hulu accounts and stuff. So when you travel, right. um, some, again, especially for some of the elderly folks, going to the movies or going to see a special, you know, a play or a production is always a big deal. But sometimes mm -hmm. for folks who have some mobility issues or, or you know, challenges of, of getting older, mm -hmm. maybe just bringing That's it right. to the house will be an opportunity for everybody yeah. to gather around the TV and have some popcorn and not necessarily turn it into a big production to, to get out of the house. That's right. That's so. right. 
All right. Well, Kathy, well, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you, Clint. And uh, we'll see you again in a couple weeks. True. And uh, this, <laughs> this is the season for decorating and, and yeah. parties and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure you're not busy with that at all. Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this is also maybe the quiet time for people when it comes to real estate. But mm -hmm. we're only a couple months away from going into the spring season. And as That's people right. are thinking of that, that's what we'll probably focus on in the next few segments is, you know, you're celebrating the holidays now, but if you're thinking of maybe changing addresses in a few That's months, right. some things you might want to think of, we'll mm -hmm. tease you on that next time. That's right. All mm -hmm. right. Well, thank you for, for being on here with us again this morning. Thank you, Clint. Happy mm -hmm. holidays. You too. All right. We'll be right back with an update on the weather, and then we'll have our special guest from Edgecombe Community College coming on in just a moment.